So God chose us to be a special people unto himself. How right, special? Right. Come on. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. He chose us to be above every other nation on the planet earth. Earth, right. That means he, he loves he love us, right? Right. That's right. That's he loves right. you. He loves you. The love he has for you, he don't have for everybody else. Right, right. right. You understand? So, how do we know that we're the children of Israel? You ever heard of slavery? You ever seen any of these pictures like this before? All right, so go to Deuteronomy. I'm going to show you how we know that we're Israel and we're not black or we're not Hispanic. Oh, you say your father is a so-called Hispanic. What, is he from uh, Mexican or what? What is it? Puerto Rican? What? Mexican. Mexican. Okay, so you'll be from the tribe of Issachar. Okay, see that right here? So-called Mexicans are the tribe of Issachar. All right, so-called American blacks from the tribe of Judah. You understand? All right, so check this out. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. This is what God said was going to happen. He's talking to the children of Israel. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it but it shall come to pass uh -huh. if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God was saying if we didn't listen to him, something would happen. Just like, for instance, if you don't listen to your parents, do they punish you? Right. So this is what God said to our forefathers. He oh, said, boy. if you don't listen to what I say, that... I'm going to punish you for it. That's what he's saying. Watch. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes. So his commandments and his statutes is as if your mother or your father give you chores to do. He said this is something that you need to do. And if you don't do it, then what? Which I command thee this day. Come on. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So he said bad things. That's what curses is. Curses is a bad thing, correct? So he said, all these bad, evil things will come upon you if you did not keep my commandment. He said, I'm going to punish you for doing so. All right? Look at this sign right here. You see this? Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Let me show you what that means. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee. So the Lord send these enemies or these bad people against us for not keeping his commandments. Hello. Watch this. In hunger. Uh -huh. So he said we're going to have to go to them for hunger, for food, right? So McDonald's, y'all eat at McDonald's? Yeah, where, where you get your food? Where you, where, uh, y'all go out to eat at all? Yeah, I go out to eat. Where, where's some of the places you go out to eat? Mo Bay's. Mo Okay. Well. Applebee's, Golden Corral. Guess who own those buildings? Do, do our people own them buildings? No. No. So God's saying that these same people that set up all of these restaurants, all of these stores that we're going to have to go to for food, God called them what? Read it one time. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Bring it on. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So what did God call those people? Enemies, right? So watch this. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst. For water as well, right? So why, right. So why, like, Jesus loves everybody? Why would he send against us? Like, if, if, if he loves everybody, why, why didn't he send against us? Because they didn't. I'll show you exactly why Christ would allow that to happen. And I'm going to also show you that Christ doesn't love everybody. Oh, right. Now, in the book of Deuteronomy, Moses is talking to the Israelites. Watch what God said. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. So the Most High God said the children of Israel, which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, are holy or are separate people unto him. Okay, watch this. The Lord God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So God chose us to be a special people unto himself. How right, special? Right. Come on. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Right. He chose us to be above every other nation on the planet earth. Right. That means he, that mean he loves he love us, right? Right. 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 That's he loves right. you. He loves you. The love he has for you, he don't have for everybody else. Right. 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 You understand? Now, who did this to our people? Who had us in yokes and irons? so-called white people right? Oh, that's right okay according to genesis 25 and 25 it, it says that they're red right. you understand and it, that they are the children of esau 
Malachi 1. So, matter of fact, 9 and, Romans 9 and 13. Real quick. So we're going to find out exactly what did God feel about the people that did this to us. Because he don't love everybody. Verse, Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. Bring it out. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. But so Esau. you read about this in the book of Malachi. That's why I quoted it the first time, right? Malachi, he said, Jacob, who I love. That's the children of Israel, right? Okay, watch it. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. Bring it out. it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Esau, that's your so-called white people. That's the people that did like this. God said he'd hate them. Right. He allowed them to do these things to cause us to come back to him. Right. You understand? So, so he, still, he still hate white people? Exactly. Right. He still hate them. Matter of fact, he said he got get Malachi. So, so like, if the, if the red people do something wrong, like, if the red people do something good, like, ain't never did nothing wrong, bro. He still, he still take them with him or not? As a slave. Matter of fact, right. give me uh, Revelations. So, they they will be at at the kingdom of heaven, but they won't be in rulership like you will be. That's right. right. You understand? Right. God chose you to be a king. Right. You understand? Right. So, like, so, is, is that, like, you know how people be saying, like, Jesus and the devil be fighting? The, the, like, the, 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 is that true? Right. Like, people be saying that Jesus and the, um, the, 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 like, God and devil be fighting, is that true? All right. You, you asking a lot of questions. I'm going to get all of them, okay? I'm not going to forget that question. I'm going to show you that, that the devil actually works for God, okay? That's right. All right. Slow down. Watch this. I got to ask you your first question. Watch this. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. That means if you can hear and you can understand what's being read, take pay, pay close attention to it, right? Watch. He that leadeth into captivity. Do you know what captivity means? Hell. It means, it's it, well, captivity is a form of hell. Right. right. But that's it's talking about bondage. Slavery. Right. That's what captivity is. Right. right. So he that leadeth into captivity, the same people that put these people in this position, right? Watch what happened. Shall go into captivity. What? Meaning what? what? They're going to get a, a recompense for this. That's for right. them doing this to you, doing this to you and your forefathers, they're going to have to suffer the same consequences. Right. Right. You understand? Because right now, you have a ruling class and a certain class. Who's on top right now? Is it us? Right now, it's not us. It's the same people that got us in captivity. That's right. But God said, once we keep the commandments, and remember that we're the Israelites, when Christ returned, people are gonna pay for this. That's right. The same people that did this to you and your forefathers. That's, That's right. right. That's Somebody find the one about, uh, about Oh, Job 1, that's what I want. Job 1. I got to show you that that the devil works for God. That's right. To to help you understand that as you go older, it's nothing that can happen to you without God knowing about it. That's right. You understand? So, what's your nationality? Are you African American? Oh. Remember, I, I said whatever your father is, that's what you is. I'm gonna prove that too. Okay. So, is your father a so-called American black? Is he like a Jamaican or West Indian? Is he Haitian? What is that? He like, he like the top two. He found the mix. So, all right, it's possible you might be from the tribe of Benjamin. I know you say you like go to Mo Bay's. That's that's a, uh, a Jamaican, Jamaican restaurant. No, it's possible your father may be from there. So, you're either Benjamin or Jew, all right? Regardless of the fact you're an Israelite. That's right. right. What's your nationality? What's your father is? So you are what your father is. Okay? That's right. You got it? Hold that. Give me numbers 118. I got to prove that first. I got to make sure you understand. All right? You got to make sure you understand. Whatever your father is, that's what you are. Okay? So as a so-called Hispanic, so-called Mexican, what tribe do you come from? You see? Right here. You know what that's saying? It's a car. It's a car. Great nation of people, right? That's right. 
Numbers chapter 1 and verse 18. Right. Right. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees. So your pedigree, that's your bloodline. They declared, they, they had all these people gathered together. They figured out what nation or what line or what tribe they came from by what? After their families, by the house of their fathers. Because the man carries the seed, so you are what your father is. Earth, the right. man plants the seed, and the woman, the woman just births it. She's like the earth, okay? She, she births it and nurtures it, okay? So you are what your father is. If your father is a so-called Hispanic or so-called Mexican, then you are an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. Yes, right. If your father is a so-called American black from the tribe of Judah. Yes, or if he's uh, a so-called Jamaican black, then he's uh, of the tribe of Benjamin. You right. understand? So no, no longer you call yourself black or Hispanic or black and Hispanic. Yes, you're right. just one thing. You're the children of Israel. Yes, yes, right. Right. Greatest people ever walked this planet Earth. Now, people gonna pick at you about that. You know why? Because they don't understand. They don't understand that you now know that you're greater than every other nation on the planet Earth. Uh, right. They haven't been taught that. So it may be your opportunity to teach them. But guess what? Some of them ain't gonna wanna listen. So you don't allow that to bother you. Until one. Job chapter 1 and verse 7. Bring it out. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? So he was asking Satan, Where are you, where are you coming from, bro? Watch what Satan said to God. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. So he said, Satan was saying that, Lord, I was walking all throughout the earth, you know, just, just walking and scattering around. Watch this. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job? What's going on, bro? I know you from some way. Hey, you got a twin or something? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You doing all right? All praise, all praise. What we doing? We're teaching the so-called black Spanish Native American their true heritage. What's your name? Antonio. Antonio, Antonio. I'm Elisha, all right? So we just saw these young men. He, he had asked about God and Satan fight. So I was just showing him that Satan actually works for the Most High God. Oh, that's so right. They, Satan can't deal with people without having God's permission. Oh, That's what's yeah. just going on. Watch this. Satan answered the Lord. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, uh -huh. From going to and fro in the earth, uh -huh. and from walking up and down in it. Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job? So the Most High God said, You know what? You, you thought about dealing with Job? But guess what? He couldn't mess with Job without God's permission. Oh, that's you right. Understand? A lot of people hear the story about Job, about how all of these things happened to him. But what a lot of people don't realize is before all of that stuff happened, Satan was speaking to the Lord and asking him, well, you know, I, if, if you do this, then this will happen. But you know what the Lord said? Yeah, you can do this, but you can't do that. Same thing with us. He, he allowed this stuff to happen to us but he was saying, look, you can't go but so far. That's why no matter how much they try to destroy us as a people, they cannot physically wipe us out. Right, right. right. Because God said that we would be like the sand of the seas. So, so like, so like, so what, like, what is, like, like, it's some people that, like, rappers that they were worshiping, like, what's that? Those are people that have, I'm a, matter of fact, watch this, watch this. You see this guy right here? Who's that? That's Jesus? Who do you say that is, Tony? Guess what? There are people that are in a church on Sunday singing and praising about this guy right here. That's right. Guess who they are? Devil worshippers. That's right. Because what does Christ really look like? Bring it out. You don't know? Bring it out. What does Christ look like? Bring it out! What's look like, bro? You supposed to be black? Let's find out according to God himself. Oh, right. Let's see what the words say. Watch this. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Bring it out! Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out! The revelation of Jesus Christ. Meaning the revealing of Jesus Christ. You know why? 
You know why this had to be bent? Why the record had to be kept? Because God, Christ himself said that they will come false Christ. There will come people saying that they are me. That's what Christ said. You know was who one of them people was? This guy right here. Oh, that's right. Caesar Borgia, Caesar Borgia, son of the Pope. During the Renaissance era, he had them to iconoclast all of our images. One of them images was Christ himself. What? Let's see what Christ looked like according to the Bible. Now, pay attention to the signs. We're not saying that's Christ himself, but we're saying that's a better depiction than this guy right here. Oh, no. Watch this. Go ahead. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Bring it up. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it's saying the hair on his head and his face was white like wool. Which one of them pictures got white woolly hair? Well, how, how, how did the, like, the Bible feel like? So, you know I, I got you. I got you. All right? You got a lot. I love the fact that you got a lot of questions. That's great. Don't stop that, okay? I'm going to get to that. Let's continue where we're going right here, and we're going to get to that, how the Bible got written, okay? All right? So, it said his hair and his hair was white like wool. So, it was white in color and had woolly texture. What, what nation of people got woolly textured hair? Yeah. Look at you. Woolly textured hair. Even you, we you text your hair. Oh, call blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that make up the children of Israel. Right. Guess who got woolly textured hair? That's right. Watch this, come on. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as the flame of fire. So the whites of his eyes were as the flame of fire. Meaning they was red. Why you think so? Because he was mad. Why you think so? Why you think so, Tony? You have no idea. You ever, you got uncles or, or somebody you know that, that drink? You ever see, you know somebody that drink wine? Watch this, watch this. Genesis 49 and verse 12. Bring it his eyes shall be red with wine and his teeth white with milk. So it was saying that he would, it was prophesied that he would drink wine. That's why when some, some people saw him, they called him a wine bibble. Because, but he drunk it in moderation, so he was not a drunk. Because it's a sin to be drunk, you understand? Right. So, when Christ drunk wine, the whites of his eyes turned red, all right? Now, yeah, he was mad, but that's not the reason why his eyes were red, okay? Right. I'd be mad, too, if I if I knew what was going on in my people. In fact, I am mad. The scriptures say, oppression make a wise man mad. Oh, that's right. All of us are mad. Right. We're mad to see our people in the, the conditions that they in. For them to think that this guy right here is Jesus Christ. Oh, that's right. When Christ looks like you. you Bring it out. Keep going. Revelation chapter 1, verse 15. Bring it out. And his feet like unto fine brass. You know what color brass is? Right? All y'all agree, right? So his feet was a brown color. Watch this. As if they burned in a furnace. It was so dark, it looked like they burned in a furnace. So Christ had to be what? Yeah, I'm very dark skinned man. That's right. Is that burned in the furnace? Yeah, we know that is. Right. So Christ looked more like that, right? So if you're not worshiping Christ, who you, who you worshiping? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
gone into the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Christ himself said, I ain't come but for nobody other than the children of Israel. That's, right. That's just like a school bus. You you got a school bus that come up, come to pick up elementary students, right? And then you got one that come to pick up the middle school students and one that pick up the high school students. Is the bus for the high school students gonna pick up the middle school students? No. What about the elementary students? No. This is what Christ is saying. Christ said, I only came for the children of Israel, his chosen people, all right? What? You got a lot of questions. I don't want you to go nowhere. I want all of your questions to get answered, okay? Alright? I want you to understand that you're, you're an Israelite as well, alright? You see these things right here? God, Moses prophesied that these curses would only come upon a specific people. Oh, you give me Daniel 9 real quick. Daniel chapter 9 and verse 11 is what I want. Because, would you say there's any other nation other than the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans went through this, this stuff like this? Yokes of iron on their neck, burned, hung by their necks, children taken from them, bashed on stone, women cut open. Did that happen to anybody else? No. Nobody else, right? So let's see what, what Daniel prophesied. Daniel chapter 9 and verse 11. Hey, right. hey, our Israel have transgressed thy law. So that means transgress means they went against God's laws. That's what sin is according to 1 John 3 and 4, okay? Transgression of God's laws is sin. So he's saying all Israel have sinned. Watch this. Even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Uh -huh. Therefore the curse is poured upon us. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. So in Deuteronomy... That's what Moses prophesied, that if we didn't keep God's commandments, things would happen to us, okay? So he said, because we actually sinned, these things happen to us, as it was prophesied by the mouth of Moses. Uh -uh. Come on. Verse 12, and he confirmed his word, which he spake against us, and against our judges that judged us. He confirmed it, because you know what happened? This actually happened. It was prophesied we were going to slavers on, on ships. That actually happened. He confirmed it. He made sure that it happened because he said, it shall come to pass. God is a man that he should not lie. Watch. By bringing upon us a great evil. That's the curses. The curses is a great evil. So the Most High God allowed this great evil to happen to a specific nation of people. Come on. For under the whole heaven, has not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. Nobody else can say they went through the things that the so-called Black Spanish and Native Americans went through. Oh, that's right. Deuteronomy 28, 46. He said that this happened and nobody else has went through this. I'm going to show you one of the reasons why this happened. Matter of fact, start at 45 and read on down. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 45. Bring it on. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. The great evil shall come upon thee and shall pursue you. It's going to follow you no matter where you go. That's why you got people in the same condition as in South Carolina that's in Florida. That's over in, in Europe. Same so-called black Spanish and Native Americans go through this no matter where they are. Watch. Read. And overtake thee uh -huh. till thou be destroyed. So there's nothing we're going to be able to do about it. Come on. Right. Because thou hearkest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments. Because we didn't keep God's commandments, that is the reason why these things happen. Oh, come right. on, keep going. And his statutes, which he commanded thee, uh -huh. and they shall be upon thee for a sign and a wonder. So these curses or this great evil should be upon us for a sign and a wonder. Why? Because he said they was going to come upon you until you were destroyed. Oh, until right. you thought that you was a so-called black man or a so-called Mexican. You thought that you was a Haitian. You were destroyed to the point that you thought that this guy right here was Christ. You know? oh, so he right. said, as a sign and a wonder. Daniel told you that the things that happened to us happened to nobody else. So if it happened to nobody else, but it happened to us, then who must we be if they was prophesied to happen to the children of Israel? Bring it up. Who are we? We the who? We the children of Israel. That's oh, right. Right. You understand? So no longer should you call yourself a black man. You're the children of Israel. Right. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels.
Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.